What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. It's currently the 22nd, 21st, 22nd. And we are here at Alphalance uh, Monday. About to take a little break, intermission from work. We got some people working on the paint over here. We've got construction teams inside of the main building and nobody in gym two. So we're about to go hit a workout right now. Are they gonna get this out? Or is it gonna be a huge mess, like a huge fit? Like, oh man, that'd be a. Alright, y'all. The only reason I don't get it is because it's not like they're necessarily they're cleaning up after themselves. Oh, yeah. A power wash? Like, uh, probably like two or three power washes to get this out. Maybe. I mean, I just don't know if that's gonna get it out. But the parking lot, if you don't look at the ground, right? Looks sick. Just don't think about the consequences. <laughs> Kyle is like when the chickens ran through here, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say it's gonna be a busy day. Measured out correctly, we may end up with maybe three sinks. And I mean, I want to do those the, the, the big troughs. Yeah. Okay, and even that's even better. Um, if we can do, you know, like a six foot trough, a six foot trough. Exactly. You know, it, it looks better than a small little. Two so foot. we'll measure it and do the plumbing coordinate. Mean, it's one big trough. One big one would be great. Right. Okay, so we need to um, kind of get, I'll get with Chris today and see how we can make that work okay, without so do doing we, any soil cutting on the concrete. So do we want to draw one and just, or do we want to just. I'm going to sketch it up. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back over there and I'm going to sketch it up. And then when I meet with him, we'll kind of walk through it and see what mm -hmm. you know what hurdles he may have okay. as far as making that correction, and then get with Brian as far as the electrical mm -hmm. and how the lighting layout is going to work. The lighting is a little six-inch can, that's all we got. Yeah, but uh, you know, on the mirror side, mm -hmm. you want it bright. Yeah. Um, to where because you know they gotta have. It. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Today is July twenty-first, two thousand twenty, and. We just finished up our meeting with Anthony, who is now helping out on this project. Project managing the people and what's going on in there. Just going over everything that has to get done like immediately today, the actual game plan, not the big picture plan a week down the line, like what has to happen today, which is gonna be restroom, finalizing what we're doing for the restrooms uh, as far as the partition walls and moving the drains. And uh, that was like the main, main thing. And there's a lot of HVAC stuff getting done. So they see those units, what way they're going. Some things are in the wrong places. We're tracking those down so we can act accordingly. So that way we can get back to Alphalete, which is uh, what from the business side we are kind of trying to focus on right now. And yeah, Kelsey and I are about to hop into some Alphalete work and try to organize this mess of a, it's been, a, it's been a crazy year with, yeah, everything's been impacted a lot. Launch is are pretty much like just everywhere. So we're trying to grab or grab and put things together to execute them it's here soon. So I need to like direct the team here for Alpley and it's very hard to direct the team when you don't have, you don't have a your plan, like you don't have a launch, you don't have, because all these things are changing and so if you can't lock something down from these manufacturers or this or that, or the, you can't expect people to perform and to do their jobs because they, and to know what to do really because yeah, they don't know what to do. it messes up like website marketing, like it messes up everything, like our customer service oh, and like, so, yeah. To be honest, it's been pretty stressful, really stressful, but we're going to sort it out.
Today is July 22nd and we hired a new team to come in and essentially do our labor for the remaining of this project. And uh, they are on their day one hauling some ass. Things are looking amazing. Uh, it's very, very clear to tell the difference. And uh, yeah, like you, you can tell like things are not, my reaction, things have not been moving at this pace and they are moving at this pace now. So feeling very good now. It's been, been a stressful day, but this is a big, big, big weight off the shoulders. So we look to the right direction to see uh, some of our same concrete getting done. So this is what that is. This is our customer service room right here. And uh, yeah. So we're gonna do this, there's gonna be a wall here. We swing open, right? Here. And this wall will be like a split, like a little tunnel kind of thing. And about here. Then up here. Then here. So you have a privacy kind of thing. So as before you hit the wall right here. You guys to uh she pens out we're gonna take some notes okay we're gonna do a uh seated row here and i want to give you a quick tip in case you didn't know four things i want you to note here do you use wide grip do you use close grip do you use a overhand do you use an underhand all that in these four tips number one the closer grip that you use the more like the more mid back you're gonna be hitting the thromboid right here now the higher the wider you go the more kind of rear delt you're getting to the more upper back okay typically now those are inside and outside. So inner means mid back, outer means upper back. Now, if you pull lower with this, so if you're coming here and you're pulling low and tight, so your elbows are tucked in like this, and you're pulling low, 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 that's how you're gonna activate your lats a little bit more for the width. Now, if you were to pull like this and come up, kind of like shrugging up, there's, it's not wrong by any means, but that is gonna target more of that upper mid area versus low, keeping it tight, probably have to use a lot of weight, pull towards your belly button, so you need more lats. So, we're gonna go with a close grip, right, and a low pull to hopefully grow the lats. Because for me, that's what I need to work on. Uh, there. So what is a wide grip hit? Possible. Lats. Wide grip? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Posing update, July 22nd. I think I've said July 22nd like six times in this video so far. But, uh, this has not been the best few weeks of training, not been the best few weeks of eating or anything, but today that changes. Right, Kels? Yeah. You know why? Because we got the most epic board shorts in the world coming in a few weeks, in about a month, month's time. And I'm not about to be not in good shape. What's up, Enrique? Hey. <laughs> All right, this is where we're at right now. Just like, unflex. Oh, God, I swear every time I do that, I feel like I'm just gonna oh, get stuck, you know? But. I feel like I was better a few weeks ago, you know? But we're gonna get that back on track. Come on guys, come here. I need to tell you something. So, Quick catch up. The last few weeks have been uh, probably the most intense weeks of my life. And I've been saying that every video I post feels like it's more of an update over the last couple weeks than posting consistently, which is changing, right? Last awesome. one's changing, right? Yeah, yep. it's changing, bro. Yep. But for real though, for real, like, it has been uh, really taxing. But we're getting through it at all costs. 
and the more time you spend on complaining, the less time you can, you know, waste getting to the point you need to get to. So we're making the changes happen. We have a new team, new crew in the building, the main building um, that started today. And that sh it's almost annoying to me that that could have happened weeks ago, you know, and just the time spent you know, making that kind of happen and organizing when, you know, you finally meet someone who's almost like ready to go, ready to go. And you realize like, shit, like things are unveiling themselves. I don't have my stuff figured out. I'm not quite ready. I'm not quite where I need to be. And I, though I've thought of everything, I haven't executed everything. I'm getting stuck on things too long. Now that's, it's been, you know, a learning experience. And we still are very, very behind with just not very, very behind. It's just, there's a lot to do and a lot to think about between the companies and I can't just like shut off five of the things I need to, big picture things I need to be doing to do one thing. So I think that's been the challenge for me is just finding a way to prioritize the top three biggest picture things a day that need to get done while still balancing all the other very important things that consume time and that need to get done as well. We're allocating them and being sure they're getting done to the level we need to get them done at. So that's what I'm kind of dealing with between everything. Um, yeah, just making it happen no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we were just talking about how uh, I guess with all the kind of stress that builds up and attending to the needs to happen, like the workout part of the day is the absolute best part of my day. And I'm being real with you guys, the last 10 days, I kind of took like 10 days off from the gym just because of I was focusing on other things that needed to be attended to. And, that really kind of got to me. I feel like I kind of built up all this because I wasn't having my 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 outlet, right? So bringing this back in, starting this past Monday, and uh, being sure that no matter what, I'm taking one hour of the day to be in here. And it's even okay midday. I used to just be like a morning guy before work picked up, but now like work's picking up stupid early. So work out midday, put my phone away, put the iPad away, and just lift weights because that's what started this whole entire thing to begin with. So it's been my outlet, always will be, I hope. And um, maybe weights, lifting weights isn't your outlet, maybe it's something else, you know? But I think that whatever that is, find that hour of the day that you can dedicate and keep that hour of your day in your schedule to be sure that uh, you keep yourself sane, to be honest. So, I'm gonna get my 10 pound dumbbells and my sandals and uh, do one more set. Drop in August 15th. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's actually filming right now. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Y'all have great, great chemistry on camera. So on camera, real life though. <laughs> Not really. We should actually shoot. The Mexican really, thing. We should shoot a really <laughs> yeah, like, get my mom in it. Uh, That'd be man. hilarious. Oh, man, I mean, it like falls. <laughs> 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 then you're gonna get a bunch of shit for it. A flip flop, a sandal. That's what you get your ass beat with, but it's a sandal. A sandal. A sandal. A sandal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to look at uh, me off Cena for the first time. Oh. We added something, and we're gonna look at it right now. Started out bad, ended all right. Not, I mean, not. There's still a lot of problems, but yeah. Seeing what happened here made the day way better. You know, but I haven't seen everything. But midday we came check on it. That was good. Feel way better now for the next few months. I think we can open this year. Everyone's like, you weren't gonna no. open this year. <laughs> You're planning on it. So now. New entrance to my office has slight reason. dramatic. You want to go in before me? You go, we go in before situation. me. Yeah, okay. Go in before me. I won't look. Like, can I show them before you see it? Uh, and then film yes. your reaction. Yes, yes, yes. You can do that. Okay. Don't look. Not, yeah. Cheater. So funny because there's literally two holes in the wall, and he thinks there's a huge hole. He thinks his windows are cut. Okay. I'm ready. Yes. Okay. I'm not faking the reaction. So I'm walking in, I'm walking in, I'm walking in. 
Right here will be the door if I open it that way. Um, your camera's not focusing on you. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay, this I've kind of, this has like been here, right? This part, this area is new. And they started testing the big cut for the window that we'll be looking into. Gym number one. Wow. I like how there's a little bitty hole in the wall and you're so excited about it. The idea is it to be about 18 feet big, you know, and it's not going to be these, don't ignore these lines. It's not going to be like that, but go look, I'll see it. Did you? So right there, okay, 20 foot sign, Alpha Gym. Gym door number two is right underneath that stairs. Glass, glass, glass on the bay doors, and then you go up the stairs to the cardio and turf area. Under there will be our dumbbells under the mezzanine. And this is all gym floor for gym number one. And then our exit is right down there. Okay. Now for the office. Two offices. One office for collaborative work, right? With everyone that comes in, blah, blah, blah. It's really big, the window and everything. Really kind of mm -hmm. public. And then the second one is going to be this area. It's like our private office. Yeah. When doors there, right? You need. No disturbances, yeah. Doors over there. Doors over there, so desk is over there with the parking lot in the background, right? I get to see everyone yeah. kind of come in. Now, come through here. This is all awesome too. Little sofa. And here I'll open the door into vanity, toilet, and shower. It's a big shower. It's like from there to here. So, nice shower. I sweat a lot. Honestly, it's just gross. Right? I mean. <laughs> I'm very happy. Like, there's a lot of jigging to this office. And it's like, I almost like didn't pay much attention to the layout or anything of this office until literally the very end. Um, when it was kind of like, all right, all hand, or that's submit it, right? Well, because it was one thing when you designed it, and it was a different thing when you started thinking about being, it being functional. Yeah. And then, like. Week. I think that a big thing here with this project was that we didn't intend to kind of like read. I, I would, I wish I would have just gone from scratch, demoed everything, gone from scratch with all the walls and stuff. Cause we ended up not keeping so much of it and finding so many things wrong, finding so many things that were not in the original plan that we received um, versus like reality. And yeah. Where's your office house? Do you know yet? We kind of really Over changed or where hmm. that one. Kelsey didn't quit anyway. She already told me pretty much. What? Selling my job for um <laughs> for one million dollars. Athlete manager. Yeah, selling my job. Get paid attention to. <laughs> <laughs> and then Moise. I need to tear that down. Will be over here. Yeah. Now, I don't want to be putting these like changes in no more. You know, everyone is. It's like you know what? You go put it in, Moise. You go put it in, Kelly. You know? Hey, like, no, I, that's the same room I always had. That's so far from you, Kels. It's well, I'm fine. not gonna be hanging you, you, out in there. You, you, you it's like literally from like okay, like today when you had a private phone call and you need to go somewhere. That was like, also it's it's once every six months. And I hate those. No, it's it's somewhere to keep my stuff. I, I you know my backpack. You know what my backpack's full of? What sex? Makeup, hair stuff, face wipes, extra clothes. I try to keep that in my office. Yeah. yeah. Through the window. Through the window. In the parking lot. Through the wall. <laughs> I should leave like a little hole where I can put my head through. I should be like, hey! No. One more? Oh my god. I'd be this so, so annoyed. Exciting. So exciting. It's gonna require a lot of fire rating and stuff. The window. Very expensive. Let's take him through the exit of the gym. So when you're leaving the gym, you're going to go this way. All right, this right here is the exit hall. Sales office. Okay, another office. Mm -hmm. And gym manager office. Try that on. Okay. There you go. And then exit. It's a 
beautiful. It's a beautiful day. What's going on guys? Today is day three of the vlog and we are at Alplan. We have not left though and uh, it's a long little work night but fresh day, fresh start. It's like 7.40 in the morning, already dripping in sweat. You know it's gonna be a good day. But uh, today is uh, day two of the crew, the new crew being here working on site. Today, I say goodbye to my dear old friend. Right there. That guy. That guy. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna take them to demo this. I don't know how long it's gonna take them to heat rock back, but I know as soon as we take this off, we're going to go put support right in the middle because we are hanging something to trickle down below. So I have to put a support and then we'll cover it up nice and smooth. And uh, we're going to be doing some demo with this little guy going on. <laughs> These walks are kind of like my morning. It's pretty much my morning walk, to be honest, but it's a little bit more intense. Concrete. Getting polished, looking good, design room. Epic hallway, epic hallway, epic hallway. You guys are probably so tired of hearing me talk about this thing, but I'm gonna keep talking about it. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I'm so excited. That's my service in here. Mm -hmm. Already got crews in here. Be working, man. Mini walkthrough complete. Feeling good, feeling ready for this day. Uh, it was another day of no sleep, but I kind of do this twice a week or so. Right, or I've been doing it and don't recommend it at all, but when the workload is really truly like to that point where you gotta do something, man. And for me, all I know how to do the best is work my hard as I can. And that means staying here a few nights. That means staying here a few nights and it just gets done. That's it, end of story. If we're building something, it's gonna last a lifetime. It's a little few months of discomfort, worth it. first floor and doing our second round of signage so we've ordered a ton of signs so everything that's green has already been ordered uh, this is a secret you can't see that one. <laughs> but everything that's green is ordered uh, yellow means I still need to order and blue means max bought his <laughs> so far that's where I'm at but uh, we're like 50 to 55 percent done with all the signage orders they take like 8 to 12 weeks to get done so we got to hurry up It's crazy in there. We're making progress. You haven't seen it. I saw it two days ago. It's so different. So different. Grand opening. It's gonna be October 1st, guys. Book your tickets. How's life been, bro? Busy, I just calculated today. No, that's it, that's it, that's it. Uh, I think, I think right around our birthday, for 12 months sour strips, we're gonna hit a million bags moved. Damn. And I'm ordering 2.5 million bags. Yeah, this week. The future is near, bro. Hey, dude. That's the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> How's the week going, Kels? You have multiple jobs this week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel like it's been really productive, though. It has. A been. lot of stuff, but like we've been really productive. Oh yeah. 
in the last video, like we were like, this has been the shittiest week. You rated it like a 9.5, and I said the same. Yeah, like an 8. We're getting better. Yeah. Like, like this week wasn't that great, but like, we, we were productive with it. Like, we rolled with it. Yeah. It's only Wednesday. Yeah. It feels like the end of the week, though, because we have product photos and stuff, though. Yeah. Like, usually we do that, like, on a Friday or something, so I feel like it's the end of the week, even though it's not. Oh, everything's so loud. We are uh, still painting right here. No paint, it's been a while. It's a lot of paint, a lot of work. But uh, we're gonna make this all blacked out. Beautiful. Whatever, but we just started going to happen a couple weeks ago for it the first time. The new location. Yeah, 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 they told us, so we, we were like, let's come check let's it out. Check it out. We got from this side of town, and so we've been going. Well, we to love what you know, you're doing. We love what y'all doing as a company for sure. One, two, three, wow. Is this the outside part that they talk about? Huh? The parking lot. Oh, the parking. Yeah, so the entrance will be through there. Park, walk in, and the entrance will be right on the fourth day when they're building out a whole thing. Okay, okay. That's truly impressive. Yeah, no AC, no AC, no AC on the gym. Wow, so it's another one behind here? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. This one's smaller. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so okay. no AC, some AC, that's like, I like yeah, this. Because everybody get that feel yeah. of right. 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 impressive. Right. Exactly. Impressive. Right. Hey, brother. Nah, but we love what you got over there, so I know you're going to oh, have it right over here. You guys see that right above my head right now? You see this? That's my window. That's my window right there, good and tough. It's a cool moment, man. One day, one day in this vlog, I'm gonna be like, just up there looking over, filming a clip, and I'll remember back to this clip where we're getting a demo. So, pretty cool. Um, that's happening here. Now, I need to go check the front of the uh, building where the rotunda, which is like that big, like, gear looking thing up top, is getting demoed. So we just started the demolition of this big ass gear. This is the company that was here. That's their logo. Uh, so that's coming off. We have some plans for this area that you guys are gonna see really soon. Um, but yeah, pretty crazy. The amount, the amount of times, the amount of months we've been walking up and down these stairs, just looking at everything, and doing plans and measurements and all this stuff. And, like looking at that thing, kind of like, ah, oh, it looks like come off, you know, but it's not that big a deal. We're getting out. On, guys we are uh, standing outside of the shack aka the office and as you can see the parking structure is making progress when it was rusty now it's gonna be black uh, they've been at this for how many weeks ago like this oh my god like weeks like probably like three weeks and the quote they get it was like a lot more paint necessary and time necessary than they thought initially but it looks damn good and uh now we're gonna go to the main building because they have a little surprise waiting for us. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty windy. Uh, you should probably tell, but we're actually doing a lot of uh, prep because there's supposed to be a hurricane here. Hurricane Patricia, is that right? I don't know. I didn't know it was called one yet. I thought it wasn't a hurricane yet. I thought it was a tropical storm. Oh, okay. Yeah, Did same. 
name a hurricane <laughs> that, like, <laughs> that nobody said was coming? <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be like six inches. Boy, if you don't! It's coming up, coming up, it's coming up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Damn. Looks good, man. Whatever road you want to go with. So, right now we have the sprinkler underneath the light. We're going to move the sprinklers up. Possibly move the HVAC up a little bit uh, and then move those lights a little bit higher so there's nothing kind of blocking the side. But uh, and they'll be connected. Alright, guys, that is going to end the vlog. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to wrap it up. So, we'll see you in the next one.